Former New Kids on the Block member Jonathan Knight is a proud member and representative of the gay community today. However, it was not always the case as he would speak out all about the tiring journey for her to get comfortable with his sexuality, so let's recount it here. Everybody knows that Knight wasn't openly gay when he first shot to fame back in the 80s with his boy band New Kids on the Block. He revealed that he was pressured into keeping his sexuality a secret by the group's manager in a January 18, 2023 interview at the podcast Frosted Tips with NSYNC's Lance Bass. He pulled me inside and was like, if anybody finds out, then your career is over. The new kid's career is over. My manager said, my career is over. Sony's going to like lose money. It was just so much pressure, he added. Looking back, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody who's just trying to figure out the world themselves. As claustrophobic as that must have been, Knight revealed a real reason he left the boys' group was that he saw things going downhill early and wanted to quit while he was ahead. Pop music was just not what it used to be, and, you know, we went from arenas down to theaters and... Then eventually I left the new kids and they continued on. They were doing nightclubs. And it just kept going down and down, but I had to jump out early. He explained, there were a few reasons. Number one being a young gay kid. I was frustrated and wanted to get on with my own life. The other reason is it just felt like it was not going anywhere and I just wanted to be home. Topic went back to his sexuality and he recounted how he was ousted by a spiteful ex instead of having a chance to come out of the closet himself. Even when we got back together, I still wasn't out publicly, he shared. It was a boyfriend of mine that sold pictures of us to the National Enquirer. The ex in question was Kyle Wilker, who exposed his sexuality in 2009 to National Enquirer. Knight had initially addressed the controversy by saying, I've lived my life very openly, have never hidden the fact that I'm gay. He would slam his critics in a better polished statement on the boy band's official blog. Apparently, the prerequisite to being a gay public figure is to appear on the cover of a magazine with the caption, I am gay. I apologize for not doing so if this is what was expected, he wrote. Over a decade later, he still remembers it is a horrible experience, but is glad that the way people come out now has changed. People will be doing an award show and just be like, I'd like to thank my husband, blah, 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 and nobody flinches, he added in the podcast. Fortunately, things have worked out spectacularly for Knight in his life. He revealed he was happily married his husband, Harley Rodriguez, on August 25, 2022, who he has been dating since 2008 and got engaged to in November 2016. He's currently back in the limelight as the host of his own HGTV show, Farmhouse Fixer, which launched in 2021 and was renewed for a season June 22. Hopefully it gets renewed soon for a season three. Wow. <laughs> 